class next is about how can we find mean, mode and median for group data. Firstly, let's look about mean. If a set of group data given in frequency distribution, for example, in the form of class intervals, the mean, okay, we can find the mean by using the formula summation of f i x i for i equal to 1 until k divided by summation of f i from i equal to 1 until k where x i is the midpoint of the s class and f i is the corresponding frequency Okay, next formula for mode. Okay, to find mode, we can use this formula. Okay, mode is equal to LB plus, in bracket, D1 over D1 plus D2 times C. Where LB is lower class boundary of class mode. D1 is the difference between mode class frequency and the previous class frequency. D2 is the difference between mode class frequency and the class frequency after mode class and C is class width. Class boundaries, let's say X is equal to 0 0.5. So lower boundary is equal to lower limit minus X. Upper boundary is equal to upper limit plus X. Next is median. Median of frequency distribution cannot be counted like the ungrouped data because data has been grouped in the form of classes. Median is the value for which 50% of the observation lie either side of it when arranged in order of magnitude. The median class should be determined first before calculating the median. Okay, the median lie at and over to observation by referring to the uh, to the cumulative frequency. Okay, formula for media is given by LK plus N over 2 minus FK minus 1 over FK times C. Where LK is the lower boundary of plus median. N is the number of data of the sum of frequency. Okay, capital F. K minus 1 is cumulative frequency before class median. C is class width and small letter FK is frequency class median. Okay, next, quartiles. For group data, the case quartile, QK is equal to LK plus K over 4 times N minus capital FK minus 1 over the small FK times CK where k is equal to 1 to n3 okay lk as usual is lower boundary of the class where qk lies and is total of number observation capital f k minus 1 is cumulative frequency before the qk class small letter f k is frequency of the class where qk lies lies and c is size of class where QK lies. Okay, next. Percentiles. For group data, case percentile, okay, we can find by using this formula, LK plus K times N over 100 minus capital F K minus 1 over FK times CK. Okay, where K is equal to 1, 2, 3 until 99. Okay, as usual, LK is lower boundary of the class where PK lies and its total number of observation. Capital FK minus 1 is cumulative frequency before the PK class. FK is frequency of the class where PK lies. C is the class, size class where PK lies. Okay, we have note here. The 25 percentile is called the first quartile, Q1, 
The median is the 50 percentile, also called the second quartile. The 75 percentile is called the third quartile, Q3. Interquartile range is the range between the first quartile and the third quartile, Q3 minus Q1. Okay, let's see the example. Table below show the life content of 40 batteries. Okay, fine. A mean mode median Q1 first quartile, the quartile and the 70th percentile. Okay, to solve this question, we need to complete this table first. Okay, okay so we have here number of batteries. Okay, this one represents Fi. Okay, midpoint Xi and then we need to find Fi times Xi and one more is uh, cumulative frequency. Alright, capital F. So just fill in the table, okay, find the midpoint to find the midpoint. Okay, for example, uh, in this range between 2.5 until 2.9, so just take 2.5 plus 2.9 divided by 2. So we have here the midpoint is 2.7. Okay, the midpoint for this range is 3.2, okay, 3.7 here, 4.2, 4.7, okay, and then uh, multiply, find F X F I S I. so just multiply, okay, the second column and the third column for each row, then the, we will have here 34, this is 22, this is 10.8. Okay, 15 times 3.2 is 48. 10 times 3.7 is 37. Okay, here we have 21. 14.1. And find the total. This one should be, uh, the total is 136.5. Okay, next we need to find the cumulative frequency. Cumulative frequency, okay, for the, for this, the second row is 2. To find the cumulative frequency for the third row means 2 plus 1 is 3 and then 3 plus 4. Okay, 3 plus 4 we have here 7. 7 plus 15 is 22. Okay, and then we have here uh, 32. Thirty-seven, and the last one should be 40 alright question A we want to find mean ok we have the formula of mean is summation of fx over summation of f so just substitute the value summation of fx is 136 over 5 and summation of f is 40 so here we have 136.5 over 40 and we have the answer here is 3.41 okay this one i'm using uh, two decimal places next find mode we have the formula here okay firstly we need to identify Which class is the mode lies? Okay, kita kena tengok dekat sini frekuensi yang paling tinggi. Frekuensi paling tinggi dekat sini adalah 15. Okay, 15. So, means mode berada dalam range ini. Okay, so firstly identify lower class boundary. Nak cari lower class boundary, kita akan ambil dekat sini 2.9 plus 3.0 and then divide by 2. So, kita akan dapat lower class boundary here is 2.95. Okay, plus D1. D1 is uh, difference between the class mode frequency and the previous class frequency. Maksudnya, 15 tolak 
Previous dia 4 So akan ada dekat sini 11 Okay So divide by 11 plus D2 D2 adalah uh, the difference between mode class frequency And the class frequency after the class mode Maksudnya dekat sini 15 minus 10 Okay dengan uh, frekuensi selepas dia So kat sini 5 Okay C C adalah kelas width Nak cari kelas width kita akan ambil uh, Lower class bond Apa class boundary Apa class boundary apa 3.45 Okay minus lower class boundary Lower class boundary adalah 2.95 So kita akan dapat dekat sini uh, Class width eh Okay, is equal to 3.45 minus 2.95. So, the answer is 0 0.5. So, multiply dengan 0 0.5. Okay, and we will have the answer 3.29. Next, okay, kita nak cari median. Okay. okay, untuk cari median Firstly, kita kena check lah uh, Median mesti N over 2 Okay, total frequency divided by 2 50% daripada dia median Okay, so 40 divided by 2 is 20 So, kita kena check 20 berada dekat mana Okay, daripada cumulative frequency 20, 20 berada dalam range uh, 22 ni Okay, still masih sama pada range uh, 3.0 and 3.4 So, kita masuklah dekat sini. Okay, is lower class boundary. So, lower class boundary untuk ke sini masih sama macam tadi. 2.95. Okay, plus N over 2. N adalah 40 over 2. Okay, minus FK minus 1. FK minus 1 ni adalah uh, cumulative frequency before class median. Cumulative frequency before class median. Ini class median. So, Cumulative before adalah number 7. So, minus 7 divided by okay, small letter FK. Small letter FK is uh, frequency of class median. Okay, class median berada dekat sini dan frequency dia berapa? 15. So, divided by 15. Okay, value C sama macam tadi, 0.5. So, answer akan dapat 3.38 Okay next kita nak cari Q1 Okay ini adalah formula untuk Cari QK Kuatau okay so kita nak cari Q1 So Q1 Okay K is 1 so kita kena check dulu Dia berada dalam uh, Frekuensi yang mana observation yang, yang ke berapa So untuk uh, kes ini kita kena check dulu R is equal to K times N over 4 So 1 times 40 over 4 So dia berada pada 10th observation Ataupun frekuensi yang ada yang ke 10 Okay, cumulative frekuensi yang ke 10 So ini 7 Okay, ini F cumulative Ok, ini 7 10 berada pada Range ini Dalam frekuensi 22 ni Ok Maksudnya sekarang uh, Q1 kita lies in this range Ok 30 uh, 3.0 until 3.4 So Sekarang kita proceed Ok, masukkan uh, ke dalam Formula untuk cari Q1 Ok, therefore Q1 is equal to Lower, lower class boundary Boleh identify tak? Okay, 2.95 plus okay, K tadi kita dah cari 1 times 40 over 4 minus cumulative before class frequency minus cumulative frequency before uh, QK okay. so QK berada dekat sini Q1 berada dekat sini so cumulative dia adalah 7 so minus 7 Divide by FK FK adalah frekuensi Dia 15 Darab dengan 
C. C tadi untuk kes ni masih sama 0.5. Okey, so kita akan dapat answer untuk uh, Q1 adalah, adalah 3.05. Okay, next. To find Q3. Okay, third quartal. So, kita kena check dulu. Okay, dia berada dekat mana. So, R is equal to 3 times 40 divided by 4. So, here we have is 30. Okay. Cumulative frequency yang ada 30 dekat mana? Ini 22. 30 ada dekat sini. Maksudnya, okay, uh, third quartal ni berada dalam range 3.5 until 3.9 So, by using this formula Ok, ganti je value dalam formula ni Ok, cari Q3 So, Q3 is equal to Ok, apa lower boundary dia? 3.4 plus 3.5 divided by 2 So, kita akan dapat dekat sini 3.45 Ok, plus with 3 times 40 over 4 minus cumulative frequency ok before uh, class Q3 which is 22 and divide by frequency untuk Q3 10 and jangan lupa multiply dengan class width which is 0 0.5 so answer ini akan dapat berapa 3.85 Okay and the last uh, one Kita nak cari uh, Persentil Ke 70 70 Persentil Okay This is the formula So kena check dulu Dia berada dalam Frekuensi Kumulatif frekuensi yang mana So ini Okay Tentukan R R is equal to uh, 70 Times 40 divided by kalau persentil kena divided by 100 so ini kita akan dapat ok 28 observation ok 28 berada kat mana 28 ini tadi 22 so 22 plus 10 tadi berapa 32 kan So, 28. 28 akan berada dalam range ini. Okay. Pada kelas 3.5 until 3.9. So, next kita just substitute uh, into the formula. Okay. To find uh, 70th percentile, this is equal to LK. Lower class boundary. Untuk ini apa? 3.4 plus 3.5 divided by 2. So, kita akan dapat 3.45. Okay. Plus. Okay. Uh, ini akan jadi 70 times 40 over 100 minus what? ok, cumulative before uh, the class of the that percentile is 22 so minus 22 and divide by frequency untuk percentile tersebut adalah 10 Okay, jangan lupa multiply balik dengan kelas width 0.5 ok, kelas width ni actually kena check, sentiasa check untuk kes ni kebetulan kita dapat value yang sama alright, so the answer here should be 3.75 ok, that's all